Hey guys, welcome back um, to another uh, gift talk videos. Here to actually share my September haul. Um, I've already tried this video once, failed miserably. Let's hope this one goes a little bit better. If you don't know how these videos go, it pretty much uh, I show off my movie collection that I or the movies that I bought for September, and uh, maybe a little bit of the odds and ends, a little nerdy stuff that I've actually gotten. Um, this is actually going to be a short haul, so I will have some nerdy stuff at the end. So, um, just to get this away um, done with real fast, if you like this button, or if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I'm always happy to see new subscribers, because that means I'm sharing my nerdy love with you guys, and that's really why I started this channel. So, But uh, without further ado, let's get started. It always happens. Make a video, itch my nose, don't know why. So we'll start off with a show that um, has already failed. Uh, there's only two seasons of it. But um, if you know me, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm a big fan of Bruce Campbell. So Jack of All Trades was one that just kind of I had to get. Um, I've never seen it. I thought it was going to be good. And it was rather pretty cheap. Um, I've heard good things about it, so definitely looking forward to that one. Uh, another one I have is Silver Streak uh, with uh, Richard Pryor, Gene Wilder. Um, definitely haven't seen it, but have heard good things about it. Definitely looking forward to it. Some of these are blind buys. Some of these ones I've seen. Some of these are actually upgrades, and uh, there's just a few that are, you know, kind of head grab. Another one is Zathura. If you know anything about this movie, it's kind of a ripoff of Jumanji. Um, they play a board game, they learn life lessons, and uh, there's a lot of wackiness and hilarity. So, not as good, definitely not as good as either Jumanji's, but still pretty decent. So, uh, the next one is ones that I didn't actually um, remember about until I found them, and that is the um, Walt Disney Davy Crockett series. Now, the Davy Crockett... Uh, and the River Pirates um, is actually my favorite out of these two. I remember watching these as a kid. Uh, my parents used to have the uh, VHS, so definitely a good one to have. Um, and it is a two-pack, and for a dollar it wasn't bad. Um, unfortunately, I did find out a little too late that there is a Blu-ray of that. And I, yeah, crap. So uh, another one is uh, just... One of those ones I love collecting because they always have some oddball stuff and some really good stuff. But it is a trio of terror. Of course, it has Vincent Price on the cover, which sold me immediately. You, Again, if you know me, and there goes an inch of my nose again. But if you know me, I love Vincent Price, and he is one of my favorite actors. Uh, I own a great deal of his movies, and this was actually a double dip because of the other movies with it. But The House on Hyde Hill, it is my favorite uh, but this one also has Nosferatu in it, which is a really old movie, but really, um, I've heard good things about it. And the other one is The Night of the Living Dead, um, another really old movie that sounded pretty good. Um, it's, uh, it's got a little lovely thing with the Nosferatu character right there. So, um, another one that uh, I have heard a lot of people talk about, I had never seen, and I didn't even know this was a TV series, but um, uh, It, uh, Stephen King's It, it does have, uh, um, you know, just a lot of nice bonus features and all that. It's never been opened. I actually got this for real cheap. I think it was like four, uh, roughly about four bucks. And uh, Tim Curry is one of my favorite actors. He plays the clown. Definitely kind of looking forward to seeing it and seeing, you know, what, uh, what the, all the hype's about. Because obviously I haven't seen this one, nor have I seen the new movie. So this is another one I've been kind of looking for, uh, Bedazzled. Uh, I love Brendan Fraser, and uh, Elizabeth Hurley for the day was, you know, really good looking. And it's just it seems like a very funny movie. I remember it being so. I've actually seen that one, and uh, you know, just one to see again. So. This one, next one, is one that I just, um, I was surprised to see. 
I know Jeff Dunham does a lot of stand-up comedy, but I did not know he made cartoons. And this one is Ahmed Saves America. Um, if you can see the like cartoon style, uh, it just looks interesting on the back. Um, looks very funny, and Ahmed is both me and my wife's uh, one of my me and my wife's favorite characters. Uh, Peanut is definitely our main favorite character of Jeff Dunham's little skit and act. So I was really happy to get that. Um, if you watched my last video on um, uh, my Goodwill haul, you'll see a few that you might recognize. One being Unbreakable, um, M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is a DVD. I originally did not like this movie. I thought it was crap. I, I didn't enjoy it. Um, for a superhero movie, I thought it was just really lame. But, you know, the more I hear other people talk about it, you know, really praise it. And now it, having a sequel, um, you know, and another one being made, I'm like, you know, I might have to give it a chance. And this one was the Vista series. So it has a lot of... Uh, special features that go with it and inside it has this little card that just has some beautiful artwork and surprisingly it was done by Alex Ross if you know him if you're a big fan of the AMC movie uh, horror movies you know that right now he has the steel books for Frankenstein mummy and all that and, uh, you know, they're just amazing artwork. And by the way, if you hear clinking and just a lot of racket going on in this video, I do apologize. The cat and the dog are attacking each other. Um, nothing I really can do about it. So, But yeah, Unbreakable. I'm curious to revisit it and just, again, see what try to see what people saw in it. All right, I got... Uh, Another one that is um, meant for many people would be considered a cult classic. It is a movie that wasn't really good for its time, but a lot of people have watched it, liked it, and wanted other people to watch it. And it's just one I've heard that you either really love or you really hate. So I'm kind of curious to see what it, how it goes. And that is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It just sounds like a wacky movie. Um, pretty much a group of uh, aliens who... Our clowns come down to Earth um, and try to take over the world using uh, popcorn and candy, cotton candy and all that to do so. And like I said, it just seems like one of those wacky ones that I'm kind of hoping to enjoy uh, because I've heard so many good things about it. Um, the next one is one that I, um, I wanted to try. I've seen it many times but I didn't know if it was going to be any good or not. Um, it has a lot of good actors in it, and it is a TV series that looked interesting. Um, and it's only got three episodes on it, but that's Freaks and Geeks. Um, so I kind of wanted to see that. I know it, uh, Seth Rogen is in this, and it's one of his very first works. I'm definitely kind of curious because I do like him as an act or actor and just a, a regular nut, so... Now we'll move on to my Blu-ray. Um, one of the ones I've got is one that finally broke me down. Um, and it's actually just because I found the slipcover or whatever on it. And that is The Social Network um, with Jesse Eisenberg. Um, you know, it looks rather interesting. And uh, I like the story um, of uh, Steve Jobs and all that. So I was kind of curious to see how that would go. So that was a blind buy, but for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. And being a Blu-ray, you know, I, it was worth, you know, the risk. Next one is a movie I absolutely love. Um, it's an upgrade, and that is Monument Men. Um, being a true story, being World War II. Um, I love learning about World War II. True stories kind of hit home with me because I, while they, you see a lot of badness in the world, you see all this craziness in the world, it's nice to see that um, the true stories of people who tried to make this world better, and that was definitely Monument Men. Um, and it has like some amazing actors, George Clooney, Matt Damon, Bill Murray, John Goodman, and just, um, oh, and Kate Blanche. And like I said, just an amazing uh, cast. 
The next one is a video game movie that um, obviously didn't do too well at box offices, but I've heard from some people that it was actually pretty decent, and that is uh, Need for Speed. Uh, I like, you know, car chases. I like uh, kind of the Fast and the Furious style of movie, and that's pretty much what I heard. Not really great acting, but decent car chases and some amazing looking cars. Now, I have... Um, Four uh, upgrades for the uh, my comic book. If you know me, I have a lot of comic book movies. Um, and I'm trying to upgrade most of them that I can to Blu-ray. So these were just a few. One was uh, Thor The Dark World. Uh, I've got that for $2.95. I got Thor. Um, that was a five-bucker. And then you got Captain America... Captain America Winter Soldier. Not my favorite Captain America, uh, but definitely not a bad one. Now I'm down to what I always look forward to, um, finding. They're always amazing. I always love seeing them because they are so beautiful, and that is Steelbooks. And I just happened to pick up this one, Age of Ultron Steelbook. Um, it has Ultron on the back. Inside it has the entire team. Um, or at least some of the team, you know, in it. It's, um, it has a few scratches, it has a few dings, but for only 10 bucks, I thought it was worth it. And then I picked up a brand new steelbook today, um, actually, uh, not too long ago, and that was the solo one. You got the Millennium Falcon, you got the movie, some of the movie cast, of course, Chewbacca, um, Chewbacca, Han, Lando, and I always forget the girl's name. And then inside, if you look past the thing, you see the cockpit of the Millennium Falcon. Uh, a lot of people didn't like this movie, but you know what? Uh, I, I'm a sucker for Star Wars films first. I love Star Wars films. I don't, you know, a lot of people hate them right now, especially starting with The Last Jedi, Force Awakens. A lot of people didn't like those. A lot of people didn't give this movie solo a lot of chance, and it was just one of those I absolutely loved. I thought it was a great film. And let's face it, I've been waiting for this since The New Hope. Um, seeing Chewbacca rip somebody's arms off highlighted the movie. It really was. So, Well, guys, that's it for my movies, but I am going to show you some of my collectibles that I got. Um... One of them, I have to say thank you for um, M for Movies. Uh, he's on uh, Instagram. He's also on Facebook um, as Doc Sampson. And uh, he lives in Ankeny, um, which is not far from where I live. And he says, hey, they got this really cool uh, bobblehead at the uh, local Goodwill. It's only four bucks. And he was right. Yep. It's the Best Buy exclusive um, leader of the cannibal, Johnny Depp. Just amazing. He has a little longer neck than I would normally like, but still pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I, I do like the Pirates of the Caribbean series. I think it's a, a decent series, so I was really happy to get that. And definitely, um, my last piece, definitely not least by any means, this one, I almost bought it immediately, but I, I made myself save up the money, get it. I had put it on uh, reserve or hold um, at my local comic book shop, and I am so glad I did. It is a Godzilla piggy bank, and this thing is pretty cool. Oops, didn't want to do that. Um, trying to oh, remember. Yep, right there is the coin um, slot. And then you can turn the tail and get the coins out when you're ready to change in. And then, whoops, sorry. And then just put it back on. And uh, although I don't put any, think I'll put any money in it, he is pretty good. He is um, quite large. He's actually bigger than my head, um, at least by a good head or neck. But the, just the amount of detail in them, and uh, being as if you again, if you watch my uh, video on Godzilla, you know I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I was able to get this one and one more. I apologize. Um, I was able to get Mothra, 
just a really beautiful figure. Um, yeah, it's a little janky, but, uh, you know, it was one that I kind of had to have. This one I know was 10, the other Godzilla was 40. And yes, I know I say that with a cringing smile on my face because I did, like I said, I had to save up. So for those two, 50 bucks, but um, the Godzilla here was definitely one I really, really wanted. So um, I actually uh, traded some stuff in for that one and uh, I'm happy I did because what I got rid of wasn't all that important. And right now I'm a huge Godzilla fan, so I'm definitely happy to be getting that one. Well, guys, that is it. I hope you guys have a great, you guys had a great uh, September. And with October, we've got Halloween, we've got Oktoberfest. Um, I know for me and my wife, it's our anniversary, uh, second year. So really happy about that. And uh, I know next month is going to be a pretty special haul. Just uh, getting movies and, you know, and other stuff that uh, is going to be pretty cool. Um, so... Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and as for today, guys, try to enjoy it. I know I'm going to um, go see Venom this weekend, uh, because it is uh, opening weekend for Venom. I've heard some iffy reports, but I'm still going to give you guys my take on the movie, and uh, hopefully you guys will watch and, you know, enjoy, because I, I love talking about movies and, and figures and comics and all that, so it's definitely going to be worth it. See you guys later. Bye.